decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where they're coming. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 34. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, it's Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This is Harris on the draw. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris punching it in from a yard away. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Oswell well good with the extra point. Kick it away after the touchdown. Looking into the snowflakes, and he muffs it. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't get the And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Steelers. What the scoreboard says, partner. He you knows winning this game right now. Mother Nature? Yes, <laughs> indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris, a six yard touchdown run. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Just yank that one well to the left and no good. So with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fields this way up at the 17. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. On third down, Jackson. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. 
And possession will switch hands first and ten. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second down, it's Snell. Missed, missed, and not get down. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson. His second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will extend this big lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Looking up into the lights and he muffs it. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now on second and 13, Jackson. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And quickly, they get to the line. On first down, Harris. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They'll run on first down. Harris. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They hand this off to Harris. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. Try to run for it with Snell. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Snell. 
And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Now here's Snell, and he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Benny Snell taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead will swell by one more. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields this way up at the 17. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. Now, the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept you. And Andrews lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the handoff, it's Snell. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, it's Snell again. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now a give here to Snell. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Here's Snell on third down. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Second and goal from inside the five. Samuels. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. Jalen Samuels. Taking it in from four yards out. And this Steelers offense is running away with this one. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will extend this big lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the yeah. coach's address? And there's so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is Jackson. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. Fielded at about the 28. Pretty good return, all 
things considered, but holding. I agree with you totally. It's actually a return that they were going to be very proud of. But when you end up holding and bringing it back, now your offense has to start a little bit deeper in their own territory. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big pick up there on the run. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Snell. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Here's Snell. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Benny Snell with his second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead was swung by one of the Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to this offense. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Steelers. 